Saw dudes. I wanted to make a video discussing the legend and lost sector drop rates and how rewarding they are. Coming from someone who loves Destiny, I still believe the game can be improved a lot, and this is one area that could see some refinement. In the background, you're just going to see some gameplay of the Lost Sector just to give you an idea of what it was like. To start, I ran the Chamber of Starlight Lost Sector on April 20th or 20th, nice, for Arms Exotic Pieces. I ran it 60 times so I can get a decent sample size. Keep in mind that all champions were killed and every run did say I achieved Platinum Rewards. I'm aware that a larger sample size would have been better, but this is all I can manage to do in a decent amount of time. The total amount of time for these runs, including load times and exit activity times, was around 2 hours. My ghost had Brazilian's armor equipped throughout the whole trial. I want to preface this by saying that this Lost Sector is extremely easy and can be easily run in any number of ways, but I'll be addressing this later. Alright, let's talk numbers. The shortest run took 1 minute and 7 seconds, and the longest took 2 minutes and 37 seconds. The average time for all 60 runs was 1 minute and 39 seconds. This was taken by adding all the values and dividing by 60, our sample size. I acquired a total of 75 enhancement prisms and 165 enhancement cores. Average enhancement prisms per run was 1.25, average enhancement cores per run was 2.75. Out of these runs, I acquired 12 exotics. 4 of the 12 were Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves, 3 were Shinulu's Vow, 2 were Kefri's Sting, 1 Oathkeeper, 1 Liar's Handshake, and 1 Renewal Grasps. Nice, but not really. Okay, now let's discuss the quality of the armor. It's nice to see exotics dropping, but if the rolls are garbage, then it's not worth the time spent. The lowest roll seen was a 60 on Shinobu's Vow, with a meh distribution. The highest roll was surprisingly a three-way tie between another Shinobu's Val, Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves, and Liar's Handshake, all of which had a 66 roll. I'm going to be showing the rolls on screen. Only the Shinobu's Val had a decent distribution with decent spikes. The average stat value or roll value for all exotic pieces sits at 63.67, which is kind of below average for me. Because I was farming with Resilience Armor, on, I'll mention that the uh, highest resilience was 23 and the lowest was 12. Average resilience for the stat was 17.33. Alright, now what y'all are probably waiting for, drop rate and RNG. Simply put, you have a 20% chance of obtaining an exotic from running a Legend Lost Sector from my data. Every 5 runs, you will have a 67.23% chance of receiving at least one exotic. This goes up to 89.26% every 10 runs. This is decent, kinda. In my testing, there was a 10 run gap between exotics. This felt awful, and I was honestly ready to quit, but let's continue the discussion. Bungie has yet to release hard numbers on the drop rate of exotics and rewards in general. They have claimed that there is bad luck protection when it comes to raid exotics and such, which I'll discuss in another video. But Little to none seems to come into play in Lost Sectors. It's important to mention that this Lost Sector is incredibly easy to farm, but that can't really be said for other ones in rotation. Some take much longer or require higher tier gear that only veterans of the game can acquire. This problem really boils down to respecting players' time and commitment. With the re release of Lightfall, I really feel like this game is falling apart, especially in time investment. I was actually trying to get a good roll of Aetheris' Embrace, but I didn't even get one to drop. This leads me to my next point. What should be done? Well, to start, Bungie should probably announce drop rates and be more transparent about the math under the hood of the game. Players deserve that at the very least. Secondly, implement a knockout system. There's no excuse to have the four of the same exotics drop so close together. There is no variety, and this is not to say that it would like four Aetheris' Embraces more. We should reward player time better. Faster runs with more kills and fewer deaths should give players better loot. Even up the drop chances, or, you know what, hear me out, better stat rolls. Sounds good. The mediocre stat rolls really kill it for me, and don't make this farm great. When it comes down to it, this farm is only really good for giving me Ascendant Shards through the consistent Enhancement Prism drops. I'm looking forward to the focusing changes com coming next season in Season 21, but Bungie should really consider making the rolls on the armor much better. 
I have a life outside of this game, but I'm really hard on this game because I like it. I want it to succeed. Let me know if my findings are similar to yours in the comments, and if not, let me know how you fared. Thanks for watching.